So unlike that code sword that you got from your sister's cousin, who everybody knows is the family Hua, the Justice League cast is officially gone. Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, Ben Affleck, the greatest Batman of all time, Henry Cavill, the greatest Superman of all time, Gal Gadot, Cyborg, Martian Manhunter, your sister's cousin, your sister's boyfriend, your family pet. It's all gone. Adios. Goodbye. Kaput. See you later. I know this is heartbreaking for the Snyderverse fans who have been crying over this shit for the past 10 days like it's a fucking like like they're being drafted into World War Three. But for myself, I'm disappointed. But as everything in life, it's time to move on. <laughs> I've committed no offense. James Gunn took to Twitter to say this. Our choices for the DCU are based upon what we believe is best for the story and best for the DC characters who have been around for nearly 85 years. Perhaps those choices are great, perhaps not. But they are made with sincere heart and, and integrity. And I said this from the very beginning. Basically, this is James Gunn saying, Listen, Snyder fans, I don't give a shit what you have to say. You could trend hashtag Friday James Gunn all day long. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change my stance. It's not going to change the minds of myself, Peter Saffron, or David Zaslav. We have one job and one job only is to make this DC brand the ultimate financial gain for Warner Brothers. As sad as it may be, that's just the way it is. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> He went on to say this, but this means little to us in the comparison to our jobs as artists and custodians in helping to create a wide and wonderful future for DC. And then this is exactly what I've been saying. You may not like the choices, you may not like how James Gunn responds, but I love the way James Bond, uh, James Bond, whoa, Freudian slip here. Ain't no way James Bond, hey, maybe, maybe, maybe fucking Henry Cavill could be James Bond. But I love the way James Gunn is responding to this because he's like, listen, I'm here to do one thing. I love these DC characters. I love the DC world. I love the DC mythology. I've been a fan of it since since day one, and I want to make sure the DC thrives in the long run. And I gotta point this out. I, I gotta be honest. Like the, the fucking the the hardcore Snyderverse fan base are becoming like the hardcore anti Zack Snyder haters. Who, who are constantly bitching and crying because the Snyderverse is done. I've, I've been saying this for a while now. I knew the shit was done once Jay Oliver said that Zack Snyder and David Zazla haven't spoken. Once Jay Oliver said those words, I knew it was over. But of course, I've been saying it, but people were like, no, no, no. You see, according to Shedosity, the Snyderverse is still coming and Zack Snyder is going to direct Majesty of Part 2 or Part 3 or Part 10. And I'm like, listen, you fucking morons. That's not going to happen. And now, now that they know it's not going to happen, now here comes the total white girl Karen meltdown. Oh my God. I can't believe it's over. It's up. What do you mean it's over? I can't live on. Can you hear me? Can you see me screaming in agony? I can't take this pressure anymore. <laughs> and it's just like, bro, I, I, I tried to tell you. I tried to warn you. But some of you didn't want to listen to me. Now, most of us with common sense and brain cells, we know it's like, listen, it's over. It is what it is. But I will always appreciate Zack Snyder. I will always have Zack Snyder trilogy. But now I'm excited for the future of DC. And I'm excited to see what James Gunn and Peter Saffron are going to do with the DC brand overall. Especially with Superman. Superman is the godfather of all superheroes. He has been sidelined for way too long. And I agree. Henry Cavill, he should have had a man of steel a Man of Steel, Man of Steel 2, Man of Steel 3, multiple 10 fucking solo so Superman films. But at the end of the day, that was Warner Brothers. That was Warner Brothers that messed up the bag. They fumbled the bag. And Henry and his team kind of fumbled the bag as well by not signing a contract instead of going on a verbal agreement. A verbal agreement. Are you fucking kidding me? That was the dumbest decision Henry Cavill and his team made. Because if he actually signed a contract, we wouldn't be in this mess. And Henry Cavill would still be Superman. But I digress. It is what it is. But like I said, it's done. It's over. It's not coming back. But maybe Zack Snyder can hire uh, Henry Cavill to do a Rebel Moon role or a Army of the Dead role. And hey, maybe Zack Snyder and Henry Cavill can operate on a fucking verbal agreement. 
Or Henry Cavill can be like, hey, Zach, I love you, but let's actually sign a contract to make sure that I don't get screwed out of this role this time. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, this was James Gunn responding to the hardcore, to the hardcore Snyderverse fan base saying, bro, like, I, I don't care. You, you can hashtag fire me. You can do this. You can do that. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because winning proves everything. If James Gunn can deliver a DC universe that makes money, that's profitable, that critics love, that the fan base love, then all of the shouting and screaming is not going to mean a damn thing. And that's the harsh truth of the matter. But as always, hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, join the Truth Army, share the video, like the video, be so kind, as always, push comments down below and give me your thoughts. Uh, James Gunn, like I said, I'm rooting for the DC universe to succeed because if DC succeeds, then we all succeed because I want DC to thrive because i'm not just a hardcore snyder fan i'm a dc fan first love you all stay safe truth out you ever get the feeling something really bad is about to happen